Welcome back guys, we are continuing this Phantom Brigade Max difficulty campaign and I've done a bit of shifting around with our modules so I'll just go through the changes so the sniper rifles basically the same I don't think I've changed anything or if, it, if I have it was nothing that changed anything important this is the major change so our yellow uh, mech which originally I wanted as a short range then decided to have him as a medium range I've equipped him with the starburst rocket launcher and given him all of the really heavy equipment which has made him ridiculously slow so all he's going to be doing is basically just standing in the open trying to get people to aim at him because he's got loads of health loads of barrier and a really durable shield and in between using the shield I'll be firing off loads of rockets which doesn't require line of sight so this is a complete new setup basically so it'll be interesting to see how this performs in battle then with the blue mech we've equipped the new assault rifle which hasn't got the most damage but it has got good impact damage for breaking through cover so he's like a demolition specialist basically for hitting units that we can't really hit because they're hiding behind cover destroyable cover that is but he's got really good range a really good variety of range so apart from short range he's gonna have decent accuracy all over the board so he's a, a really nice all-rounder He's also got barrier on half of his stuff now. Now it does mean that his arm is going to be pretty weak. I think this is his shield arm. Yeah it is. So his shield arm is going to be a bit vulnerable. So we're going to have to make sure that we shield him properly. But he'll be good for mid-range. And then we've got our fast ship. Uh, ship. <laughs> Too much Ultimate Admiral. Our fast mech, which has got really good dash. It's got a really nice amount of speed. So it's not lightning fast, but it's pretty decent. It's got a nice amount of armor it hasn't got any regenerative armor because I think short range is probably better to go for pure durability and not so much regenerative armor so we've given him we've taken off his machine gun and given him the marksman rifle just because it's got better heat generation and better damage and it can concuss as well so it can knock out the pilots and it's got a better range a more consistent range than the uh, machine gun had so we haven't really got a short range mech at the moment so he's more like a, a flanker So we've got a flanker, we've got an all-round plus demolition specialist, we've got an absolute tank who's got indirect rockets, and we've got our trusty sniper who seems to be better with his handgun than he is with his sniper. <laughs> He'll improve. I'm pretty confident his uh, sniper ability will improve once we equip him with 
a slightly better sniper rifle, although this is a pretty decent sniper rifle. So yeah, they are the changes. Now, we have got a lot of damage. And we're very close to finishing the objective. But we haven't got much liquid fix left. So, I'm not sure if we're actually going to be able to get this done. And apparently, we lost a pilot. I don't know how that happened. Don't know which mech it's on. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that I ejected the pilots in that last mission. So I don't know how we managed to lose a pilot. Well, seeing as we're a pilot down, we're obviously a mech down. So I think what I'm going to do is see what happens if I use this retreat button. See if I can recruit a new pilot possibly get some more liquid fix but we'll see how that goes depending on what happens with the war score with this battle site so yeah this is a test basically to see what happens if we use this retreat button Right, okay. Looks like we're going to lose this location. Because they've got another battle site that's just opened up and there's no way that we're going to be able to reach it in time. Interesting. Right, well, we need to recruit a pilot. How'd you do that? I've never done this before. Oh, looks like we've not paused the game. So why won't it let me recruit a pilot? Base can't be busy with another resupply task, resting and resupplying. So it looks like we are going to fail to take this location. Which is obviously not ideal. But it just means that we'd have to fight a couple more battles. It's not a big deal. I reckon we're going to be fighting a lot of battles in this campaign, so... Having to redo the first few missions isn't going to make a huge difference. And I did want to just test to see how this mechanic worked. And it looks like if you have to retreat, you're almost guaranteed to fail taking over a territory. So we're currently on five reputations, so this is another test to see if our reputation drops if we fail. So let's see what happens. Okay, so we lost the province, and our reputation's still at five. Okay, so home guard recovering. Looks like you have to wait for the home guard to recover. Interesting. Well, it's good to know. It's good to learn all these mechanics of the game, because... I've never played this far through to actually know how all these mechanics work. It looks like it recovers really fast as well. So let's recruit a pilot. 
Okay. So, I'd need another 123 to recruit another pilot, a spare. I think I need both of these, and this one's better, so we can get rid of this. This torso... We're not going to have another mech for a while, and we're not using this torso at the moment. So we can get rid of this torso as well. And we don't need this marksman rifle anymore. Because we've got this one. And I don't think I'm going to use this machine gun anymore. So let's get rid of all of them. That's now given us enough supplies to recruit an additional spare pilot. So let's do that. Okay, let's get another pilot. So it does actually seem to be taking quite a long time for the home guard to recover. But there's not really much we can do until it has recovered. So let's just fast forward until it's back to 100. Right. Let's go again. So, this time around, we're a lot better prepared. We've actually got some decent mechs. We've got a spare pilot. So, things should go a lot better this time around. So, let's contest the province. Okay, let's see what happens. Trick flop. Okay, <laughs> it looks like we've got to repair something. <laughs> Not sure what. So we've just got to repair the vehicle that we're in, apparently. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Interesting. This army that's moving about is one of the objectives. I didn't even know that that would be a thing. So a mobile army is an objective. Pretty cool. Right, 
off we go again. So the enemy's got 28 more power level on me. So it's definitely not going to be a walk in the park. wonder if this is going to change our power level. Oh. Ah, there we go. No, it didn't, so it was counting him already. Right, so we are going to be testing out the rocket launcher guy. So, that's a big ass rocket launcher. <laughs> so, it'll be interesting to see how he gets on. It's going to be rather difficult to use him with him being so slow. Okay, so the enemy aren't going to be having any reinforcements, so that's nice. So let's have a look see what their plans are. So, this first guy's got a machine gun. So he's running up there, firing. At the blue guy. So he's pretty much not going to do anything. This guy has got a marksman rifle and a rocket launcher. So he's going to be moving over, firing at the yellow guy with the marksman rifle. That could be a problem. So I might need to shield up there. Because I'm not going to be fast enough to evade that. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's no way to really block the shot. He's got a rocket launcher. God, I hate rocket launchers. So he's going to be also firing at the yellow guy with his rocket launcher, so there's nothing I can do about that. He's got a machine gun. He's going to be firing over at the blue guy, but terrible accuracy so don't need to worry about that he's gonna be moving over there but he's not firing and he's moving to here firing at the yellow guy with a rocket launcher again pain in the arse these rocket launchers are right So, what am I going to do here? don't think, even if I go behind here, I mean it says the shot's blocked but I've fallen for that too many times where I think it's blocked and it isn't so it's definitely not a guarantee. Yeah, he's not blocked there. Right, um... So 
So I think rather than blocking, uh, da dashing, sorry, I'm just gonna use the shield to block. So the shield needs to come up there and face him. So let's see if we can get in an, an attack, which we can. So shall we fire at the person who is shooting at us? Or do we try and take some of these damned rocket launcher guys down? So them two are the main ones that I want to take down. So I think I might fire at him. And they should hit. And if we fire again here. Pretty damn certain they're all going to hit. So I'm going to sustain a little bit of damage but... Don't think it's a big deal. Right. So he is coming over here. So he's going to here, so he's going to be well covered here. Hmm, okay. What can he see where he is? So... If he moves forward a bit, there's a chance I might be able to see him. So let's do that. So if we move to there, we can get a decent shot off. And then we lose sight of him. So then we can then fire a shot at him. So that's not too bad. That's what he's going to be doing. Right, so let's see what we're doing with him. So really, I want to be able to shoot him, but... I think I'm going to not be able to get into range unless I use the dash. And if I use the dash, oh, I can't even use it here. Why is there such a big difference there? Can't I just do... No, I can't. It's either there or there. So if I did it there... Let's have a look. It's not too bad. So let's do that. And then let's run. Over here, I reckon. So, is he going to be in the way of the second shot? Yes, he is. So, let's not run. There.
Okay, that should be okay there. So let's do that. Could put the shield up. Alright, lovely. That's what we're doing there. And then it's just the white mech now. Right, so the white mech, I really want him where the yellow mech is. So let's move this yellow mech over here. So he's not going to get in sight range until he's really close. So I might do that. Right, that'll almost definitely take out this crawler. We're going to put a bit of hurt on this mech. And we should be pretty safe from much damage. So let's see how we get on. I'm just wondering how long these missiles take to reach the target and how much damage they do once they do reach the target. So let's have a look. So they take approximately three and a half seconds to move that far. I did a, a fair bit of damage. But, it was spread out all over the place. Did quite a lot of concussive damage. So I think they're probably a good way to get concussive kills, rather than actual kills. Right, so he'll probably get destroyed. Hmm, maybe not actually. There's only a tiny bit of shooting left to be done there. So he probably won't get killed from that. It's a bit annoying. Oh, we have got them rockets coming in at him. So yeah, they'll finish him off almost definitely. Okay, so let's see what their plans are next.
Right, that's going to be painful. He's running in and he's got 100% accuracy with a really long burst machine gun. So I'm going to have to break sight there. He's going to do a significant amount of damage there as well. So we can just block that. So he's just firing rockets at the yellow guy again. So he's just moving, dashing, running, so he's not actually doing anything this turn. And then he's the one who's going to hurt a lot. So he's going to fire twice. He's in a real rough spot here. He needs to break sight with both him and him. So. I need to get behind this bit of wall here. So if I move to there. Right, he is going to chop through this house if, if his gun has got kinetic, not kinetic, impact damage. So, yeah, it's definitely likely to be painful. So I might just carry on running. Right, so I could do that, face that there. So who would I fire at here? So I could fire at him with 62. Right. I need to move a little bit further to be able to hit him. So that's what I really want to do. The only problem is, if I move further, one of them two are going to be able to shoot me. So let's see what this guy's range is. Hmm, it doesn't actually tell you what his optimal range is. Hmm. Well, it's a machine gun, so it's unlikely to be great. I might just have to leg it. Hmm. Bit of a challenge. A bit of a challenge. So I'm pretty sure he's going to chop through there, but then I'm going to be in serious trouble from him if I try to move. Oh, gross, man. Gross. Right, 
right, so he's running all the way down there, so there's no point in even trying to attack him, I don't think. I reckon we just dash. So let's move first. Move to there to break the sight a little bit there. Then dash. Over here, maybe. So let's see how much damage he does from there. Oh. That's not the right guy. 31. That's a lot better. And his is really low as well. Right. So that's what we're doing there. Obviously I haven't finished his turn off, but I'll do that in a minute. Right, he's gonna overheat slightly, but better than sitting there absorbing a load of damage. Right, so that's going to break the sight of him. So I don't need this shield up anymore. So let's have a look at his gun. Terrible accuracy. So I think rather than running that way, let's run to there. Get a nice shot off on him. I think his best bet is probably going to be to dash over here. Let's see how that works out. Okay. And then, where, how can he move? Right, that's not too bad. So we can move anywhere around here. So he can attack. I want to take out him if I can. Yep, that looks good to me. Okay. So that's them two sorted. Now... 
it would be nice if I could get an attack on him as he's running through here. Yeah, it's not really going to work. So, let's forget about that. Instead, let's shoot at this guy. Or... I move over here. Start shooting at that tank. see him anywhere. I can actually see him there. So that might be worth doing that. And then with the rocket guy. So he needs a shield up there. So let's do that. Who would I send these rockets at? Probably this tank. So then, hmm, I think I might be overkill. Sometimes it's better to overkill than to not kill, though. So we've got a chance of that anyway. Or we can fire them at this guy coming down. I think I might do that. So if I did that, right, them are going to hurt, but I think we should be okay. Let's have a look at his accuracy from there, that's good, let's lower it. Right, that's what we're doing, let's go for it. quite sure how his shots are going through two buildings. But they are. Ok, 
Okay, so we've taken out that tank. That's good. Sniper messed with his first shot. That's annoying. Right, snipers performed terribly again. Ouch, the shield guy has lost his rocket launcher. Well, that's bad. That's really annoying. Yeah, we didn't do very well there. Sniper missed twice. We didn't do anywhere near enough to kill him. He's barely had any damage received. Right, he's crashing. That's good. And then limping. We could forget about him for now. So he is going to be firing at the blue guy. Apparently it's blocked, but why is it blocked? Right, one of his own men is standing in front. That's actually good. So if we stay where we are with the blue guy, we can put the shield up. It's quite annoying that I've lost my rocket launcher on him. So he's practically useless now. So he's firing more rockets here. He's a heavy mech, that's annoying. Okay. Wonder if you can block rockets with the shield. I don't know. It's hard to really test that. The last turn would have been a good turn to test that, because the rockets were in flight quite close to me at the start of the turn. We'll have to test that on another time. Okay, so he is moving... So he's moving forward, then backwards. They're firing rockets at the sniper. Okay, fair enough. So he's moving forward. And then firing at the blue guy in optimal range. So that's bad news. So I'm going to have to move blue guy out of sight of him. So if we drop him down to here, so do 
Do we do that immediately or do we shoot first? Let's have a look, see if we can get a shot off. Yeah, we can get a shot off first, nice. So let's wait until he's fired. Let's see if we can evade. Yes, we can. Very nice. Now, it does mean we're going to collide with him, and he's a heavy mech. But, that might not be a bad thing. Hmm, I don't particularly want to collide with him, though. I don't want to knock myself over. So maybe if I just move to here instead. And then we can get another attack off. At him. So we shoot the tank, run down here, shoot the fleeing mech. That looks good to me. So that's what he's doing. <clears throat> so this guy, obviously, he can't shoot anymore. But I might be able to use him as a meat shield still. So let's do that. Interesting. Now he's had his rocket launcher taken out. He's actually lightning quick now. <laughs> That's hilarious. So I probably don't need to use the dash. Because he's already lightning quick. <laughs> That's really funny. So let's just run all the way down here. See if we can... Get these... Missiles dodged. Right, that's what he's doing. Sniper guy. Now, with the sniper, I can either shoot... Hmm, I might shoot with the SMG. I think the tank... Hmm, he might get killed. And even if he doesn't, I think he's doing a bit of friendly fire. So, let's not shoot the tank. So, both of them are running into range. Right, so let's aim at him first. Let's do two shots on that guy then.
So we're going to wait to there. And then we're going to move... I think that'll do. And then here, I can I just carry on shooting at him because he's close to dying? Could. Yeah, let's finish him off. May as well, while we have the chance. Okay, let's just do that. I'm not even going to bother moving afterwards. I mean, I could start moving over here. Hmm. Yeah, let's move to there, shoot, let's wait to there, and then move Right, if I was going to move up here, it'd be this direction, so let's do that Okay, move, shoot, move. Okay, that's everybody. Alright, let's see what happens. Oh, them rockets are going to hit me. Damn it, pilot concussed. Them rockets came in a lot faster than I was expecting. So, with the pilot concussed, does that mean he's dead? Is that how I lost a pilot in that last mission? I don't know. So that's the yellow mech. So let's have a look at the yellow mech after this turn. See if he is still alive or not. Okay, so that's him destroyed now. This tank is so, so, so very close to being dead. So one little shot on this tank will kill him. He's actually ejecting, so we don't even need to. I don't know if there's any point, so I'm not going to bother it. Then we have him. He's firing over there, so I could just move out a range of him. How much health has he got? Quite a lot still. Then we have him, who is firing rockets again. <laughs> Pain in the arse. And then he's firing rockets again at the end. God, I hate these bloody rocket launcher guys. I don't know how to deal with them. There must be a better way to deal with these rocket guys and I just don't know. The hard part is not knowing when you need your shield up. So I just need to move him towards the end of the turn, which I'm already moving him anyway. 
So I don't need to move him. Yeah. Basically, he just needs to move. Right. Is he going to be able to get out of here? Fast enough. Without dashing. I don't think he is. I mean, I could just put a shield up. And then when he reaches here, he can then fire at this guy. It's not going to be a great range, but it's better than nothing. Right, so 54... Let's see, for example, I was going to carry on moving. Doesn't knock down the accuracy at all, so I can move and shoot with this gun. So that's good. It's good to know. So if he is there and shooting at me... I think I can move all the way to here. That should be fine. That's what we're doing. I might even forget about the shield. Start shooting at him immediately. Just eat a tiny shot, that's not a problem. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Cause now I know he can run and gun without any penalty to his accuracy. I may as well use that to my advantage. So the yellow guy is the run and gunner. That's good to know. So he's ejecting, don't need to worry about him. He's probably going to need another couple of taps, but the sniper can deal with that, would have thought. Because he can run and gun with this gun as well. So I may as well take advantage of that. have a look, got to make sure I don't block the site. So if I ran to there, optimal range for the entire time. OK, 
Okay, when he gets to here, it's blocked. Okay. So... Right, so he's running and gunning, running and gunning, running and gunning. Happy days. So the sniper's much better just using the handgun. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right, and then next up is the blue guy. So them two are probably going to deal with him. So let's forget about him now and concentrate on one of these pair. So he's running down here and then he's getting shot at there. So I don't want to be anywhere near here. Now, if I ran to there... It's going to be blocked there, isn't he? Yep. Okay. Right. Um, could just run out to the side. Looks like he might be able to run and gun as well, the blue guy. Well, let's have a look. Blocked till about there. So let's start shooting there. Right, I think that'll do. Could just put in another shot. Oh, he's almost concussed. I wonder if this gun causes concussion. No, of course it doesn't. Well, that's just bloody typical. Right, let's just fire twice at him. Okay. Time to execute. Didn't realise I was getting shot there. It's my fault.
Oh, it was so close to killing him. So he's just going to eject, so don't need to worry about him anymore. He is limping and not doing anything, so we don't really need to worry about him. So he's continuing firing until there. So the white mech can't move until there, which is 1.3 seconds. Then he's moving to there and firing at the blue mech. Okay. So the blue mech needs... Yeah, he's not going to be able to do anything this turn, the blue mech isn't. So he's just going to have to retreat to here. That's fine by me. He can do that. Okay, so that's what he's doing. He needs to stay where he is. Was it 1.3? Until 1.3. Then... He's going to be firing at him afterwards. So wait until 1.3. Then move. I don't want to get knocked over by him if he's still alive. So that's what the white mech's doing. Blue mech isn't doing anything. And then he's not going to be able to do anything either, I don't think. Yeah. Let's see if we can get up on this hill here. See what sight line we've got there. We have actually got a sight line on him, it looks like. So that's not looking too bad, actually. Right, forget that. So, I'm going to carry on moving. After he's finished firing, I'm going to carry on moving this direction. See if I can carry on getting the flank on him. Okay. That's everyone done. Let's go.
Right, so he's destroyed. He's nowhere near destroyed, unfortunately. He just needs a bit of concussive damage. And he has got concussive damage on the sniper rifle. So let's see if we can get some sniper rifle off on him. Right, he is actually going to shoot me back. Kind of wishing I didn't move now. So let's wait. And then move. Certainly not ideal. This is ideal, really. But that's what we're going to do there. So that's a long time that he's got the blue guy pinned down. move with the blue guy into position to fire at him. Right, that's not looking too bad actually. That might take him down. That should take him down. I mean the sniper rifle should take him down on his own. But let's just do that. Just to make doubly sure. And then he's going to move back over here and take a shot on him. So he needs to carry on chasing after him. And then the white mech. So at 4.5 he needs his shield up. So 
So let's do that. And he's going to move... Right. Let's do that first. And then... Once he gets to here... There's no point in firing another shot, I don't think, because we're just going to overheat. Yeah. So instead, let's just get behind some cover here. And then we may as well put our shot blocker up. So how long does he shoot for? I bet it's ages. Yeah, so let's put the shot blocker up as soon as he starts firing. Okay, sorted. I don't believe the sniper rifles missed all them shots. Are you kidding me? Why is he so useless? Oh my god. I don't understand how you can miss so many 84% shots. Right. What's he doing? Moving, dashing, so let's use the handgun on him. Definitely no point in using the sniper rifle, he's goddamn awful. Okay, so let's wait until he's fired his first load, and then we're going to move away to keep him in range of the second load. Okay, so that's what he's doing. Might not finish him off. So let's focus on him first. So he's going to be firing at the white mech and then moving over here, targeting the blue mech at the end of the turn. So until 2.4, the white mech is pinned down. Surely he can't... No, he can't do anything. So until 2.4, he is pinned down. So let's do that. And we can move him out and fire at this guy. Okay. We're actually a bit too close there. Okay, that looks good to me. So 
is going to be firing optimal range. And then, can he get behind cover? Probably not. Maybe, but unlikely. I'd have to come all the way around here if I was going to get behind cover. What's his health like? Still quite high. I might be able to make him crash if I can shoot his legs off. Obviously I don't want to rely on that, so let's wait until he's finished shooting. And then we're going to run run to that. So we're out of optimal range anyway, so that's good. Now, can we get a shot on at all here? We can. It's not a good shot, but it's a shot. Will he need it? He might do. So let's just do it. Now we might be better off running in this direction. So we're in better optimal range. Looks good enough to me. Hey, everyone's got their orders. Let's go. Right, he's destroyed, so it's just this guy now. So we're going to need to get up on here or here, not sure which. Okay, that's what he's doing. What is he going to be doing? So he's just constantly firing and then moving. Okay, that'll do me. Can we get another attack off towards the end?
Okay, that's what he's doing. So, once he is finished shooting, which is there, so three, if we want, we can move forward a bit. To improve the range. So that'll do. I think that's everybody. Yep. Let's go. Quite managed to kill him. Just one more hit. Well, that's definitely going to kill him, so it's not really much point in setting up all these attacks, but let's just do it anyway. Yeah, he only needs one little tap. Let's just execute. Right, oh. this game is hard, <laughs> this game is hard, I like it. Right, so we're going to have to spend 50 to recover the arm and the weapon that got destroyed. And then we've got 105 left over. So we've got an expanded magazine. Weapon module. A large payload. Damage radius, impact radius. Okay. Right, I don't actually know what I want. I don't really want anything, I don't think, in particular. I'm, I'm not sold on this rocket launcher guy. It's just awkward. But I'll give him another run out. Um, I might end up completely changing 
everything about him back to the way it used to be. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But we'll give him another run. I might just need a bit of practice with it. The enemy are goddamn amazing at using rocket launchers. So, obviously, they can be used. I'm just not really sure how I would use it. Alright, do I want all this stuff or do I just want to scrap it? I might just want to scrap it. Can't see me using... I mean, it's got a good module that I can take off it. <sighs> I'm not sure. I think I might just take it. I don't know, level 2. Let's just scrap that. I'll take this one just in case I do want to use it, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to end up scrapping these. <coughs> and then let's scrap some of this. So that's scrap for 10. That's scrap for 10. So let's find the most expensive things. 38, 38. Is anything not damaged? <laughs> but everything. Yeah, everything's damaged. Okay, I think we should call it a day for this episode, so I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, take care, and I shall see you in the next one.